So my name's Fiona Ray. Uh, I work as a consultant in the emergency department here in Wrexham. I'm also an honorary senior lecturer, so I'm responsible for most of the medical student training that goes on in Wrexham all year round. So we've been doing these days for future doctors, we call it, for young 15, 16 year olds at school for the last few years. Um, I think this is really important for two reasons. One, these are our local students who are thinking about doing medicine. So from the point of view of healthcare in North Wales, um, there's more chance that these guys, if they are going to do medicine, that they'll come back and train and work uh, in North Wales. The other reason I think it's important is because there's quite a lot of misinformation um, and lack of knowledge with sometimes with the uh, teachers in schools about what medicine is like and particularly we found things like what you actually need to do to get into medical school. There's a lot of focus on academic ability which while it's important it's actually a lot of the other things around your team working, your personality, your ability to cope with stress that are probably as important and not always emphasised and also exactly which GCSEs and which A-levels to do which again people think they have to do all sciences and nothing else and that's actually not true. So yeah and we get lots of really good feedback from the students so we're, we're really pleased to offer this for the schools. My name's Rebecca, um, I'm one of the Medical Education Clinical Fellows here in Wrexham Myler. I think it's really important um, trying to encourage um, students from you know, a younger age to um, think about and consider medicine. Um, medicine as a career but also all the other disciplinary disciplines um, associated with medicine as well. It was really good to get them involved, interactive, so we did things like the basic life support with them, airway management, um, put in some um, lines in as well using the drills but interosseous um, lines in which was, I think they thought was really cool. I think it's really good to try and get them engaged as early as possible um, and sort of to start, so they can start thinking about um, extracurricular activities that they need and that was one of the questions that was sort of brought up is what things can I be doing, um, so things for teamwork in, um, you know, sports, drama, charity committees and things like that. So I was thinking that actually it's not all about academic and you need to be, it's a very person centred, um, you know, there's more to medicine than just sort of reading your books and hopefully we managed to convey that, that it's not all about doing the sciences and actually you need to be a, a real person beyond it all. My name is Amanda and I am a resuscitation officer and clinical skills and simulation tutor here at Wrexham. It's been great to be involved in the future doctor day to day. Um, I really enjoyed it having all the, the guys here. Um, we've had all of the equipment out um, and it's given them a taster for what potentially they might see and hopefully given them a little bit more sort of interest in actually becoming a doctor. So we've had some airway kit out. So if they wanted to be a budding anaesthetist, we've had a little look at airway management. We've done some basic life support skills and um, DFib skills as well and we've also had a look at the Easy IO kit so they've really been hands on today and I'm hoping that they've got some really good skills and some enthusiasm about being becoming a doctor.